Thanks for joining us for News 4 at 10. I'm Lindsay Nance. A Williamson County neighborhood is pushing for answers after a shooting Friday night. A police haven't given us many details about the case, but they say someone was shot at a home in Franklin. What we don't know is whether or not someone's been arrested. News 4's Michael Warwick went to that neighborhood today where people are still on edge. The police have told us that they are still looking for a person of interest. All we know right now is that the person was last seen wearing light colored jeans and a sweatshirt. And we just got a tragic update to a story that we've been following all week long. Rutherford County police say that this man, Bobby Campbell, was found dead today. He's been missing since Tuesday. Well, country music artist and police officer Jeff Carson has also died. His publicist says that he died of a heart attack. In 2009, Carson retired from music to become an officer with the Franklin Police Department. He was on the force when he died yesterday. And tomorrow, trial begins for the man accused of stabbing two men outside of a Midtown bar. Michael Mosley is charged with two counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder. On the south side of town, TDOT crews are going to begin working on new smart corridors next week. And for the very first time this year, gas prices are actually dropping. Over the last few weeks, the average cost fell six cents. So yeah, prices still aren't low. They're almost a dollar and a half higher than this time last year. We thought that was bad then, Cody. Hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> the only place I'm going is work and home. That's about it. <laughs> I'm riding a bike wherever I can, right? And you know what? It's a little bit cold outside, so that's okay. Just cuddle up with the, with the pets inside, yeah. with your family, and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, we do have warmer temperatures coming later, though. Thank a few recent victories for Ukraine as the country moves into the second month of war. Ukrainian soldiers have taken back several villages from Russia, but Russia still holds a lot of its largest cities. Meanwhile, Ukraine's president is continuing his call for NATO countries to help. And 15 countries from the United Nations are taking a stand after North Korea launched an ICBM earlier this week. So this is a wild story. A police tell us that the man found his girlfriend after she removed her location on his phone. They searched the girlfriend's car and eventually they found an Apple Watch that was tied around the wheel of her car. The man said that the Apple Watch was his. Now this ties into something that our investigative team has been following very closely. Okay, right now we've got some breaking news to get to. There has been a shooting around Hermitage. So you're looking live at the scene right now. We don't have a ton of information to go off of, but you can see clearly there's a heavy police presence. Looks like some cars are still driving through on those side roads though. Now this happened at 506 Rockwood Drive. So we will continue to keep you updated as we get more information. And today there's a new park out in Putnam County. Later on this week, it's going to be great to go out to the park. Maybe not for the next couple days because yeah. it's a little bit chilly right now. It is 